During this new age, where the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way people live all over the globe, hygiene is more important than ever. Finding ways to control this pandemic and combat the next one is becoming increasingly important. In addition to this, anything to decrease the spread of flus and viruses are a positive addition to a society. An often overlooked, commonly used surface that can contribute to the spread of germs and bacteria are elevator buttons. They are touched by countless people every day, and most of them are probably cleaned far too little. According to the ICT, the level of bacteria measured on elevator buttons is 40 times higher than on public toilet seats. This is disgusting and obviously an issue that needs to be fixed. This gave rise to the idea of a touchless button. The button safe overlay is our version of this touchless method of pushing elevator buttons. We are creating an encasement to go atop any normal elevator button. This encasement will include a proximity sensor that will sense a person's hand waving in front of it and then activate a linear actuator to push the elevator button without the need of any direct hand contact. This will come with no change to the elevator mechanics, meaning it can be implemented fairly easily and at a very low cost. To go more in-depth on the proximity sensor, we are using the Avego APDF9960 device to sense a hand. This video shows our sensor lighting up when a hand is placed in front of it. This ensured that the device could be used how we needed it, to sense a person's hand. The Progressive Automation's Micro Linear Actuator will service the device we use to push the elevator button. It will extend when the proximity sensor senses a hand and then thereby sends it a message telling it to do so. This video demonstrates how the actuator will look when it is called to extend. This ensured that it was a suitable device for our design. Those main elements will be controlled by a microcontroller and powered by a small DC power source. Additionally, we will 3D print an encasement to go over top it. This design will eliminate the need for touching elevator buttons, thereby increasing the hygiene associated with them. Not only will it dramatically decrease the secondhand interaction between people on elevators, but it is also a solution that can be implemented on current elevators. That is, no change to the elevator mechanics must be made, making it a very low-cost implementation. These photos show the final product of our circuit. The left side shows our sensor and actuator connected to our printed circuit board, along with the 9-volt battery that we're using to power it. The right side shows the 3D encasement that we printed to hold our design. The top photo shows it inside of the case, and the bottom photo shows it atop the elevator button. This video shows how our project works. You can see that when it detects someone's hand, it immediately pushes the elevator button and calls it to the floor. We would like to give a big thank you to Dr. Greg for the design idea and for guiding us through this process. His advice has been invaluable, and thank you all for listening.